Hello and welcome to another episode of Schoolie Giveaway presented, as always, by Schoolie Foundation. This is episode number 18. This is the unique podcast where we read stories submitted by our courageous community in an attempt to win the ultimate prize, a fully converted schoolie that represents not just a mode of transportation, but a vessel of dreams. Let's jump right into our next story. Our next story comes from Holly, and Holly starts the story with, Hello, I came across your schoolie giveaway, and I thought I would tell my story. Hello, my name is Holly. I was in the military for almost 14 years. I got out due to medical and trauma while serving. When I got out, I wasn't mentally okay, so I ended up being homeless because I was prideful and didn't want to admit I failed. Since 2015, I've been working on myself by getting lots of therapy and finally asked for help from my family. I tried to go back to school, but I still wasn't ready to take on another career, so I worked hard with the VA to get what I felt I deserved. After six years of back and forth, I finally got my 100% disability through the VA. I still struggle every day with everything I go through but I try to wake up and feel happy and normal. I finally felt like traveling would be good for me, so I bought what I could afford, a cheap 1992 Chevy school bus. I tried to travel in it for four months, but it only had a bed and an inverter. It got really pricey trying to hook up an air conditioner and heat with RVs to shower. Then it broke down on me three times. I just didn't have the money to put into a full conversion. I recently stopped and got a small apartment. I'm going to attempt to try and have a part-time job. I just feel that living in the school bus made me the happiest and healthiest since being out of the service. I don't want to go backwards, and I feel that traveling saved me. I know it's a long shot, but I want to feel like I have purpose again, and I'm not faking my happiness. My dream has always been to have a home on wheels and feel like I could go anywhere and do anything and not fake my happiness anymore. I don't want to feel like I'm constantly struggling or scared of being homeless again. That was the worst experience. Anytime I see someone in a similar situation, I try to help with the little I have. Holly ends the story with, Anyways, that's the short rundown of my story. Thank you for your time, Holly. Well, Holly, I want to say thank you very much for submitting your story. We want to thank you for your service. Good luck on your journey, and good luck on the giveaway. And to all of you that are listening, if you'd like to submit your story to Schooly Giveaway, you can do so by going to my story at schooliegiveaway.com. The email will be listed in the description below. Go to our website at schooliefoundation.com to see all the programs and initiatives we've been working on. While on our website, you can subscribe to our bi-weekly newsletter. Remember to check on all of our social media sites. Vote for all the stories. You know, just like this one. A special thank you to our donors and sponsors. Thank you for helping support our mission through your generous donations. If you would like to donate to our cause and our mission, you can do so by texting 833-236-0322. Thank you all for listening to this story. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Schooly Giveaway.